sir. Gay of the torn trousers, sir. An officer riding around like this. Colonel Alexander, those federal cannon up on that little rocky hill could cause us some trouble. I want you to sign some guns and keep them silent. Then you move forward with the infantry advance, keeping the flanks clear. Porter, how old you, son? Sir, I'm 28, sir. Uh-huh. Well, Porter, we must also clear those guns off that low center ridge right there. That is the main thing. Yes, sir. I'm relying on you, son. Sir, yes, sir. I'll sure keep shooting, sir. Good. Good. I want you to use everything you have. Maximum effort. Fire all your long-range ordnance. But don't open up till I give the word and everything's in position. Then fire with everything you've got. I don't want to see a single gun silent. Find yourself a good observation point, check damage. We must clear those people off that ridge. If we don't, anyway, you, you let me know when you're nearing the end of your ammunition. We must conserve enough to support the infantry attack. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Johnson Pettigrew, University of North Carolina. Yeah, I know. They still talk about your grades there with reverence and awe. Your reputation as a scholar has preceded you, sir. I hear you written a book. Yeah, it was only a minor work. The general would care to read it. Sure. Well, you may have a copy with my compliment. Captain, retrieve my book from the back. Uh, general, my apologies, but I do not believe I will have time to read that today. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen. I want you to look at that clump of trees on that ridge. That is where all the units will converge. You will be spread out in a long line, perhaps a mile, about 15,000 men. All the units converging on that point on the crest of that ridge. Now, look here. The Yankee Center, stone wall, small grove of trees. General Trimble, commanding Pender's division, will be on the left. Pettigrew's brigade in support. General Pickett's division will be on the right side of the attack. And, uh, George, I want you to put two brigades in front and one in back, like so. Yes, sir. Garnet's brigade, that's Jimmy Kemper. Armistead's in support. Good, all right, then. Garnet will dress off a of Trimble's flank. He will be the hinge, so to speak, in a series of left obliques. Somewhere about the Emmitsburg Road, you will execute your first left oblique, then direct, then left again, and so on at your own discretion, in order to deceive the Yankees and spread them out in a long line. Here. Any questions? All right, gentlemen. Gentlemen, that is the conversion point, that clump of trees. We will use all the artillery. They will center on that point right there. We'll fire every gun they have until the ammunition runs out. When that is done, I will give the order, and you all go in. Gentlemen. I do believe this attack will decide the fate of our country. All the men who have died in the past are with you here today. I want to say, sir, it's an honor to serve under your command. Thank you, sir, for giving me the opportunity of serving here. I have prayed. Sir.
you take that bridge?